Hello everyone, hello. Taking you for a quick little walk through Rome in the rain. I'll turn you around for a second here. So, I have to wear the mask outside. Put it back on, I don't wanna get arrested. So uh, yesterday, I went live on Facebook and I did like a 45 minute walk just around a few neighborhoods. And uh, I decided I was gonna do something like that every day. It won't always be 45 minutes, could just be a few minutes or something, but just to give people a little taste of Rome each day. Um, and so it's raining, which we don't get a lot of rainy days in Rome. So I thought you might like to see Rome in the rain. So I'm gonna take you to St. Peter's real quick and then just walk around this area for a few minutes. Let me turn you back around now so you don't have to look at my mask face. So just leaving my apartment. Walking over to the Vatican here. You can see the Apostolic Palace there. Colonnade. It's really dark, but it's only, well, it's almost six o'clock. So everything's still open, but it's nighttime. So good timing. We'll be in St. Peter's Square. You can hear the 6 p.m. bells in just a few minutes. And then maybe we'll walk down to the castle. A lot of police out this evening. It's just kind of normal now though. Hi Kathleen. Yes, Rome in the rain is beautiful. All right, St. Peter's Square in the rain. Always a lovely sight. In just a couple minutes, we'll hear the bells. See the Apostolic Palace again, that big squarish building. But all the lights are off, which is sad since Pope doesn't live up there anymore. Hello, California. Will the police stop us after six? No. So our curfew is at 10 p.m. So we have to be home by 10 p.m. But six o'clock is when restaurants have to close for seating. They can stay open for takeout and delivery, but they have to be closed for people to dine in. Hi, Laura. Hi, Suzanne. So like I said at the beginning, I'm going to try to do this every day just a few minutes live around Rome. And I'll probably bounce back and forth between Facebook and Instagram. Yesterday I did Facebook and it was a 45 minute walk. Today's just gonna be quick. Uh, where does the Pope live? So that is the Apostolic Palace. So that's traditionally where the Holy Father lives. It's still where his office is and a lot of other Vatican offices, but he lives in a hotel that is back there behind all that. And it was a hotel that was used by the Cardinals during the conclave. And he just chose to stay there. So we'll get some bells in a few minutes. It's crazy. I don't see, oh, there's one person, two people. Look, there's somebody over there. 
There's a guy sitting by the obelisk. See the obelisk here. And then I think that's it. Nobody else in St. Peter's Square. On a Monday night. It did rain. Yes, I wanted to show you Rome in the rain. Because it's beautiful. In just a minute, we'll hear the bells. And then I'll walk you down to the castle so you can see that in the rain too. Uh, does the hotel connect to the Vatican? No, it's, it's in the Vatican. So it's within the walls of the Vatican, um, but it's its own building. And if you missed yesterday's walk, uh, you can see that on my website and it's also on my YouTube channel. So I'll always archive these, even if they're only like 10 minutes long so that people can see them. All right, bells are coming up. Hear the fountain beside me, I'm sure. Any second now. bells and I don't know if you can notice but you can actually hear several bells going off so there's the Church of Santana which is over there so those bells are going off San Damasco the bells over there went off and then some down the street as well so again St. Peter's Square in the rain so now I'll walk you down the street you can visit the uh, Castle Sant'Angelo for a second. And then I'm going to go home and cook. It's still so crazy and surreal to see this piazza this empty. And it's not just because it rained. It's like this all the time now. Sit over this way. You can see the little Vatican post office over there. That uh, that little trailer. That's the Vatican post office. Spin you around again. That fountain's turned off for some reason. There's the obelisk. Here's some police sirens. Always exciting. And I'm sure somebody's going to ask about those green orbs floating around. That's just lens flare from the camera. So those aren't UFOs. So I'll do a quick walk down the street here. Take you over to the castle. Castle Sant'Angelo and the Bridge of the Angels. But I'm here if you have any questions as I'm walking. Because I don't really have much to talk about. I just wanted to show you some pretty stuff. So this big piazza here in front of St. Peter's Square, you usually see lots of tourists. Um, anytime there's 
breaking news here at the Vatican. A lot of the media sets up down here. And now there's a lot of police cars here. Up until a couple years ago, you could actually drive through here. And so tour buses would drive up the street and they would park here so the people could get out and take their pictures of St. Peter's at night. And then here under these two porticos, this one here and this one over here, a lot of homeless live over here. And there's actually a soup kitchen that feeds them each night. They're not out yet though. It's still too early to eat. No one would eat at 6 p.m. in Rome. This building here that I'm pointing at, that's where a lot of media is located. I think NBC is in there, EWTN, Catholic News Services, Rome Reports. They're all in the same building. Let's see, down there, I know some of you know this church, San Lorenzo. That's uh, the home of the World Youth Day Cross, and it's kind of the church for the youth here in Rome. But beautiful, tiny little church. And in normal times, they have mass for the youth, and afterwards they serve things like Cheetos. So that's fun. You go get Cheetos after mass. Feels like you're in America. Well, that's good to know, Amanda. You're thinking of coming to Rome someday. I hope you can make it. <laughs> Ryan says those green dots aren't UFOs. It's just Steve Jobs frustrated that Apple can't figure out how to get rid of them. You would think they could figure out some way in the software. There's a church right down there. I'm not going to take you there now, but that is the Divine Mercy Shrine in Rome. So there are a lot of churches right here. So... Right down there is the Divine Mercy Shrine. Of course, St. Peter's is right there. I just pointed out San Lorenzo. I didn't point out another church that we passed, but it's the church of um, St. Michael. That's the, uh, the church of the Netherlands. Then Santana is right over there. There's a church of St. Monica a block away. Right up here is Santa Maria in Transpontina. You can see that coming into view. So all these churches are within like a two minute walk. That's how Rome ends up with a thousand churches. Some bishop just walked by. That's always fun to see bishops out. I don't know who he was, though. Let's see, another look at the Basilica. All right. Oh, Porto. I love Porto. I was there uh, last year. I had a group. It was a lot of fun. I went to Starbucks. If you know me, you know that that's funny. Because I go to Starbucks anywhere I can. Since we don't have them here. There is a hard rock right there. But it's only a hard rock t-shirt shop. So you can see I'll zoom in. Hard rock cafe right down from St. Peter's. But they only sell t-shirts. They don't sell hamburgers or nachos or anything good. So this is the Santa Maria in Transpontina. This is the Carmelite Church. So have a big statue of Our Lady of Mount Carmel there. And on that feast day, they process that icon, oh, not icon, that statue, through all the streets in this neighborhood. So they actually walk right past my window. And the statue is so big. I live on the first floor or second floor if you're in the U.S. Um, I could reach out and touch the top of the statue when they walk by my window. I don't, but I could. That's how high up that statue is. Lots of soldiers over here. Always have to be careful filming because I don't want to get in trouble. Not that I can't film. They just don't like it when you point cameras at them. 
but it's hard to avoid when I have you pointing ahead of me. All right, so we're almost to the castle. I'll do a quick walk over that bridge. Oh, and then there's another church right at the end of this street. So what is that, like eight churches right over here? So if you missed the beginning and the second time I said it, uh, I'm going to start doing these daily walks through Rome. And they'll either be on Facebook or Instagram. I'll kind of go back and forth, to be fair. Um, and some of them will be short, like this one's probably only going to be 10 or 15 minutes. Yesterday was almost an hour. And it's just to show you a little bit of Rome, since you can't visit right now. So we're almost to Castle Sant'Angelo. This street we're walking on, Conciliazione, was actually put in by Mussolini. So I wouldn't say that he did anything good, but he at least made a nice approach to St. Peter's. So this whole street here was all buildings. It was called the Borgo, it still is. But he tore all those buildings down so there'd be a straight path all the way up to the basilica so michelangelo when he designed the church he envisioned it to be like you're wandering through the streets of rome and then all of a, all of a sudden you turn a corner and you're right there at saint peter's he didn't think it should be seen from afar like this uh patrons event planned soon laura i think saturday i'm going to send out an email to you tomorrow I think Saturday we're going to do a cooking class for you. But I also plan to take you to a couple churches soon. But I think Saturday is going to be cooking. All right, so now we are approaching the castle. You can see this wall here. So that wall, we passed under it a minute ago when I left my house. That is the wall that connects the Apostolic Palace to the castle. So that if the Pope was ever under attack, he could leave his home, his apartment, run through the wall, and then into the castle, which is a big fortress, has a moat around it, or it did. Uh, things like cannonballs and places to pour hot boiling oil. Um, so that's what it was used for. Let's stand back. These people are driving like crazies. Here's another look at the Basilica. And I don't know if you've been here within the last probably two years, but they changed all these lights. They used to be like a nice soft yellow. They look like the old gas lights they probably used, not to be confused with gas lighting. Um, but they changed them to the bright white lights, which makes it a lot easier to see, but not nearly as pretty. Okay, we can cross now. Rome is infested with all these little scooters now. You can see them all over the place. There's more up here. All right. So here I'll show you the, uh, the whole street, all of Conciliazione, leading all the way to the Basilica. It really is a nice view. Yes, Tanya, we lost the ambience with those bright white lights. Well, we can see now. So they were more like the ones coming up, the yellowish lights. Here's a statue of St. Catherine of Siena. Remember, she's the one that got the Pope to come back to Rome. Statue of her right by the Vatican. In 
and here we are, Castle Sant'Angelo. So the Castle of the Angels. Originally, this was the tomb for the Emperor Hadrian. But then the church took it over and made it a fortress to house the popes if they were ever under attack. So it really is built like a castle. Um, on top, you can see a statue of St. Michael the Archangel. They named it the Castle of the Angels because of a vision Pope St. Gregory the Great had of St. Michael sheathing his sword on top of the castle. And that was during uh, one of the plagues, like six or seven hundreds. So you can see little holes there. So that's where they could shoot out the cannonballs or pour out the boiling oil, or whatever it was they needed to do. So right now, I don't know if you know, a couple weeks ago, Tom Cruise was here filming. He was filming Mission Impossible. And John Krasinski was here filming, uh, what is his show? The Tom Clancy show. Jack Ryan. Hi, Monica. And now The Rock is here filming his new movie. I think he got here today or yesterday. But he's actually here. He's... They're filming in the castle. So in his movie, he plays an art thief. And he has to steal something from here. Anyway, so... Within the next year or so, you're going to see Rome and film. So if you can't visit in person, at least you'll see it on screen. So now we're on the Bridge of the Angels. So each one of these statues of angels is holding an instrument from the Passion. So, oh, that's the cross. That's an easy one. Well, we already passed the spear and then the sponge. What's here? This is the titulus. So the title above the cross. And these were all designed by Bernini. He himself only did two. And the two he did are no longer on the bridge. They replaced them with replicas and they placed his in a church. So, this one they've actually broken. Some vandals broke the finger off. You can see the angels missing a couple fingers. That was years ago, though. That was before I moved over. Anyway, I just wanted you to see Rome in the rain. So now I'm going to turn around, let you see the castle again, and I'm going to go home. So just across this bridge, this bridge was actually put in during one of the holy years. A lot of people play music up here for money. Uh, it was put in during one of the holy years to connect the main part of Rome, which is now behind me, with the Vatican. And then right after they opened it, so many people crossed the bridge that it collapsed and a lot of people died, so that's not good. Here's another little detail. That is from a cannonball. So a cannonball was once shot and hit this. What's down the bridge? You mean that way? If you cross the bridge that way, that leads you to Piazza Navona, the Pantheon. That's like the main part of Rome. Where we are, this is the other side of the river. So this would have been the bad part of town, you know, centuries ago. And then right down there is the Tiber River. Just a... And then further back that way, you have the Spanish Steps. Beautiful night, though. But you see St. Peter's from this side. Yeah, Glenn, I'm not sure which restaurant you're talking about. Lovely night. And back to the castle. 
This really is one of my favorite sights in all of Rome. Like anytime I'm here and I get a glance of the castle as I'm crossing one of the bridges nearby, it really makes me feel like I'm in Rome, which seems crazy, but I think it's just the way it's such a big building, the lighting, St. Michael on top. I just love it. All right. No. Oh, goodness. Can I see this from the roof? Yes, I can see this from our uh, our rooftop. I can see the back of the castle. And the castle is usually open. It's a museum. So you can go in, you go in through the doors here, right there. And then you can go all the way to the top, right there, you can go up there. And that's one of the best places to watch the sunset in Rome. Um, because you are right down the street from St. Peter's, so you can see the sun setting behind the basilica, and it's really beautiful. And then if you didn't know, you can actually go down, I'm not gonna do it, but you can go down by the river there. So a lot of people run along the river. Um, I will do Santo Spirito soon. That's kind of my home parish. So I will take you there. That's that Divine Mercy Shrine I pointed out a few minutes ago. So, yes, Monica, I'll take you to the castle next time you're here. Well, I guess that's it. That's our little walk. Again, I'm going to try to do these every day on Instagram or Facebook, going back and forth, just to give you a little taste of Rome each day. So sometimes it'll be just a few minutes. Sometimes it'll be longer, depending on where I'm going. And sometimes I'll just bring you along for like my chores. Like if I have to go do some errands or something, I'll bring you with me so you can see some stuff. Like yesterday, I took you to get coffee. That was on Facebook. If you missed that, you can watch that. It's on my website under the live link. And it's also on YouTube. Um, now I'm going to go home. I'm going to cook. And like I said, we're going to do another patrons event probably on Saturday. More info on that going out to all my patrons tomorrow. So hope you can join us. Hope you like this. And I'll talk to you soon. Ciao.